I feel like I needed to create my own music. And this was actually in my junior year. I started becoming actually very insecure because I was like, oh, I can only copy and copy. But I know, I knew that I wanted to, like, ukulele wasn't just a hobby. I knew that I wanted to be, be my living down the road. So I was like, okay, you know, I have to, I can't be just playing these songs that I've known since I was a kid or a teenager. And so it was actually my junior year where I'm like, okay, let me try to write. But it, writing is such a difficult task. You know, there's no recipe for that. You can arrange where you, you, arranging songs has a recipe, but writing comes completely from within. So I just remember, actually, I got super, super frustrated where I actually quit ukulele for an entire year. And I turned down these uh, opportunities. My dad found these gigs for me and I said, I, I don't want to do it because I was so insecure that I couldn't write my own music. And um, so I ended up put, putting the ukulele down for one year and then I picked it up and, you know, I think I wasn't like, play, I didn't have that bad muscle memory of playing all those old songs. I just started thinking, oh, here are some new ideas. And yeah, it was just kind of weird. But yeah, I, later that year, I, <laughs> I went into the studio and recorded my first album. Of course, one of my early songs was Eho Ikealoa, which is kind of like a Hawaiian song. A journey to Kapalua, kind of based on uh, in, inspired by places on the island. Yeah, so these songs started coming together, and my dad, my dad's friend, actually um, had a studio. So we went up to uh, up country area of Maui, and we started laying it down. And I remember I was so terrified. I was like, "Oh my gosh!" Like, you know, I've never been in that kind of environment. So it was very scary at first. You know, you have the you have the headphones on, you have to play in time with the metronome. It was very, I was very intimidated, but I was excited at the same time. And yeah, I think that process took about three, no, I mean, it's probably like five, maybe five months. And then after that, I kind of went to college while the CD was being, um, was being duplicated and everything. I went to a while for like a couple semesters. And then when I came back, the CD was ready. And then that's when I started kind of pushing this, this early career of mine. But yeah, um, I didn't have much, I don't think I had much covers on that first one. It was, it was mainly originals. But yeah, I listen to them now. I'm like, oh, wow. It's, it's kind of hard to listen to that one because like, I, I've grown so much. So it's like, it sounds like super basic to me. But yeah, that was the first one. Um, that was, it was a great experience though. Even, um, even Herbo, the junior, he, he actually, you know, we, we wins the whole cruise and he goes, you know, I really like your CD. I even voted for you. And I was like, wow, that, like, that means a lot because I didn't really have any, like, I guess, my self-esteem towards that album. Like, I wasn't sure if it was good. You know, it was my first time, so I wasn't sure how people perceived it. But a lot of people actually praised my original. So that was very, um, it boosted my confidence in a big way. And uh, yeah, it was perceived pretty well around. And I was like, oh, okay, I got to keep this going. So I used that kind of that adrenaline. And then, yeah, but I didn't really hit the, I think I waited three years before I went back into the studio to do this second one but yeah i think the originals people talk about that when someone buys a cd of mine i want them i guess i i would i would love to just showcase you know um showcase just i guess my variety that i that i can deliver for the ukulele like like i said um things from dream on by aerosmith um englishman in new york by sting and just even the original tunes and showcase, like, you know, this is a, it's a very serious instrument and I'm taking this very, very seriously. You know, I, I, I don't cut corners. I, I put in the hard work and yeah, I just want, I want people to, I guess I want them to appreciate the ukulele if they haven't already. I'm Andrew Molina and you can check me out on uh, Instagram, Maui Ukulele, Facebook, Andrew Molina. And yeah, come out to one of my shows. So you have a good time.